for a long time it was claimed that caloric restriction is a bad thing in terms of wound healing. But the work that was done in Seattle uh, by Dr. Wolf's, Norm Wolf's group, showed that no, caloric restriction improves your ability to deal with a wound and, and, and heal it, provided at the time or shortly before the wound, you give them a full food intake. And uh, yeah, basically I will say that my diet is a lot of vegetables, different kind of vegetables because... I was diagnosed as having severe atherosclerotic uh, coronary disease and I, I had a good background in nutrition and so I decided that the diet I would take would be eat as, really as much as I want but make sure I had a very low fat intake and heavy on vegetables and as much as I want to eat. My cholesterol in one year, it, it dropped consistently until it got from 220, which it was at the time I had the surgery, uh, down, down to 115. So what I do is I typically skip breakfast, eat a light lunch, and then have most of my calories in the evening. I'm pretty much vegetarian, but I eat fish. That's what these pathways are doing. They, they, they seem to influence aging, and they seem to influence the three different areas of, of, of cellular physiology that I mentioned. Uh, if you go back and go into uh, Dr. Uh, Ross's work, what he found was that if you dro dropped caloric intake by 66 and two-thirds percent below, below the ad lib, that what you got was a massive loss in young life and then a few animals that lived to an immensely long life. And so if you ask the question, did that kind of caloric restriction extend life by God, for some animals, it extended life like we've never done with any of the more moderate ones. So there is a risk there. And you yeah, my, my, only, my only concern about a lot of muscle mass is that to build a lot of muscle mass, you need IGF-1. So if, if it's true that IGF-1 has a role in, 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 uh, in, in longevity, if it's true, I don't know, having a lot of muscle mass means that you, you, have, you need an intake of protein and calories to build up these extra amount of muscle mass. So you need IGF-1. And you just don't want to lose past that point where... But you don't want to go too, too low either. Right. So again, I think it's a matter of balance. Well, they, they, the, the people that okay. follow the, the, the routine, the update down day, typically do have a net um, lower caloric intake because on the, on the low day, 20... On the, on the amino acid and you won't get any fluorescence. Um, when a sirtuin or another kind of HDAC um, uh, comes along and with the aid of NAD in case... That may be even more powerful than, uh, than if you did an unperturbed study and saw an increase in lifespan. You, you remind me of a neuroanatomist <laughs> that I first taught uh, with. Well, I, I am a neuro <laughs> neuroanatomist. <laughs> <laughs> I had